what's really going on with the economy? Are we really in a recovery? Are we on the verge of some even greater catastrophe? Or is it perhaps something else entirely? First, the BRICS countries, the Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, have launched what they call the New Development Bank with a $100 billion gold backing and another $100 billion in reserve. Now, for the first time in 70 years, this past summer, the Chinese and Russians have created over 40 deals, including oil purchases totaling close to a trillion dollars. And they're doing this in their own currencies and gold, no longer agreeing to U.S. dollar supremacy. For anyone who doesn't know, in 1944, at the end of World War II, the Bretton Woods Conference was held where the IMF and the World Bank were created. And then soon after, the dollar was declared the only international exchange currency, basically a global economic system, primarily under U.S. control. So these new deals and others like them around the world are a very significant move. After the 2008 financial collapse in, a, in the first, for a long time, partial audit of the Fed, it was discovered that they covertly gave away at least $16 trillion to domestic and foreign banks. Now, for comparison, the entire U.S. gross domestic product last year was just $16.2 trillion. Currently, the too big to fail banks globally are carrying over $700 trillion in derivatives debt. And the Federal Reserve has been printing tens of billions of dollars a month in fake money, putting the burden of repayment on us and on generations to come and calling it by the lovely name of quantitative easing. The U.S. is hugely indebted to China and Japan. And with nuclear weapons and millions of soldiers, China can't be pushed around like so many other countries that the U.S. has bullied. Countries around the world are beginning to reject the use of the U.S. dollars, backed by nothing but the promise of a broke, heavily indebted, imperialist country. The BRICS countries have been patiently checkmating the corrupt cabal that's been destroying the global economy and the environment. And now this BRICS group is creating, as far as we can tell, a more transparent, honest, inclusive and sustainable alternative. I know it can seem strange to open to the possibility of such vast and beneficial global transformation, but there is a lot of evidence that the world is reorganizing around the fundamental pattern of restoring the wholeness of natural systems. have two challenges. One is to um, quickly replace the paper currencies that are issued by these banks that are members of the Bank for International Settlement to replace these by currency issued by the treasuries of the various countries because the Federal Reserve notes are going to crash. Um, I'm hoping that we can do what, um, what we're entitled to do and we will no longer be controlled by our currencies or pay interest on country debt in a scam. We've never done this before. We are avoiding World War III, but we've got to find a way to make this happen. Um, I'm confident, however, that we will find a way. Mm -hmm.